Hi, this is Jenny from MyEnergyShift.com and today I'm going to make a quinoa salad. This is probably the most unusual quinoa salad that I've ever made because of the combinations of flavors and textures that's in it. We're going to have quinoa for sure, radishes, dill, jalapeno, um, curry, sweet grapes. It's just a myriad of flavors and textures. It's going to be so good and I'm really looking forward to making this dish with you. So let's get started. Start with a good quinoa, organic of course. Uh, today I am using Bob's Red Mill, but any quinoa will do, again, ideally organic. I'm using white quinoa for this recipe. It's extremely important to rinse your quinoa. It can get a bitter taste if you don't do that, and you need a very fine colander or sieve to rinse it. So if you don't have a really fine colander, I recommend you go out and invest in that because you really need it to rinse your quinoa. You will need two and a half cups of good filtered water and then I used one cup of quinoa that I rinsed very well. You're going to put that in a pan and let that boil for about 15 or 20 minutes until all the water is absorbed. While the quinoa is cooking, we're going to be cutting up all our ingredients. The first ingredient I'm cutting up is walnuts. I have a half a cup of walnuts that I'm chopping up into smaller pieces. You want to toast the walnuts just lightly till they get slightly brown. The recipe calls for two cups of seedless grapes cut in half. I happen to use red and green. It also calls for three large radishes. I like radishes so I cut up a few more thinly sliced. The recipe calls for one jalapeno, definitely de-seed and chop finely. You can leave it out if you don't like jalapeno. Two to three stalks of celery, finely chopped. And then I used fresh dill that I rinsed and chopped finely. You can also use dry dill if you don't have fresh. This is what the quinoa looks like when it's done. All the water is absorbed. It's gotten quite a bit bigger. I'm going to set it aside for just a little bit to let it cool before I add it to my salad. Next we're going to make the dressing. It calls for one third of a cup of olive oil. You want one clove of garlic or one teaspoon of garlic if you use the minced garlic like I have here. You want one teaspoon of a coarse salt, two teaspoons of curry powder, three tablespoons of white wine vinegar, and some ground pepper. You just mix that all up in a bowl and get ready to, uh, we're gonna get ready to assemble our salad. All right, it's time to assemble our salad and we're going to put in the quinoa, the grapes, the radishes, the jalapeno and pepper and dill, the toasted walnuts, and boy that salad is looking so good. We pour in our dressing and mix it all up and this is what it looks like. So colorful, delicious, and wonderful. All right, time to eat the salad. I just want to point out how colorful this salad is. Put color on your plate and it's going to be more healthy. Okay, so let's see. It's had plenty of time to chill. Mm. The one thing I say about this salad, the flavor combinations are just amazing and the textures. So you have your kind of spicy curry flavor in there from the dressing. You have your sweet grape. You have your crunchy walnuts and radishes. This is a flavor sensation. The dill sprinkled in there. Have we left anything out? <laughs> it's just the most unusual combination of flavors and textures that I've ever had in a salad. And you got that wonderful quinoa that adds protein and just some really good, the whole thing's full of fiber. You know, people's diets do not have enough fiber in it because they don't need enough plants. Plants give us fiber, there's absolutely no fiber in meat. So if you're looking for fiber, you no know, grab a hamburger, you need veggies. So, wonderful salad. Mm. Look forward to eating this for lunch this week. Again, this is Jenny from MyEnergyShift.com and I hope you try this salad. Let me know if you like those, those flavor and texture combinations. Namaste.